Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 4 of this office building. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to um, create something in the conference room. We added the curtain wall so that we have a proper door that uh, coincides with the style that we're uh, doing. Now we're going to continue working on this. I'm going to select this section view and then I'm just going to go over here so that we could fix this one as well. We need to delete this and then also we could fix this one part as well for the HR and admin. We're going to do the same thing as we did here. So we will have some glass and then some wood finishes right here so that's something that we're gonna do but here um, I want to flip this so now if we flip this what I notice is we cannot flip the um, the stringers anymore so what I, I, I what we could do is we could just flip it back again and then we could just use mirror. So I'm gonna use mirror just to flip this one. We could delete this now and then just move this one on the position of the, the last stairs. So we just need to move this one back. AL is to align. And then here we just don't need to show that anymore. But what we could do is we could increase this one so that everything is wall based. Now, if we see it, it will flip like that. Now we could select this one. Let's go to level one. So level one, CS, we could add it onto this side. Now we could just delete this. Now um, we don't need to create something here. We could access here. And if you see, there's enough headroom for this. So it's not something that is dangerous. This is around 2032. So that's a lot of room. So that's fine. What we need to know now is if we could add something right here. So now let's continue around this area. I could delete this now and then delete this now. We could clean up this part so that we could have the same look as what we have right here. So let's go to level one. I'm just going to close this for now because we don't need it. We just need section one and section two. So we could just move this one onto this side so that we have level one, 3D, and then sections right here. Now here, this is the section two. We could now create. Um, what we could do is we could just move this one back as well. That's what I noticed that is not showing. So we just need to make sure our views are all the way. So now double click here. This is the wall that we need to add curtain wall. So let's go back there and then let's add a curtain wall. You can just select it here under wall. You need to scroll down if it's not there. And then we just need to add right about here. Let's leave something so that we have some um, wooden element that we could show. Okay. Because you can still add something at the back right here and then the door. So for example, some storage, some filing, especially accounting, we have some filings right here on this side. 
So the door can be right here. It doesn't need to be. Plus, at the top, we have some wooden element. So that's something that we can showcase. So, but now I'm just going to add a little bit like that. I'm going to select that. Same thing that we did before is negative 600 at the top. Now, let's go to our section so that we could add our curtain grid. And, but before that, we need to cut geometry. So, let's go modify. Click cut and then wall first and then curtain wall. Let's go back here. Now everything is lining up. We just need to add in our curtain grid. Here we need 500 and then 800 right here. And then 700 right here at the top. And then just, you could just have one right here. This one, we just need to have around 300, I believe. And then this one, 800. Let's maintain the 800. And then you could just leave that one. And then click Mullion, all grid. Make sure it's 30 millimeters square. Select it. Delete the one in the bottom. Click on tab. Select that system panel and then change it to our door. Go back to level one so that you could change the orientation, which is good enough like that. So I'm happy with what we've accomplished here. And then now we could just go right here. But before we go there, click on wall again, add in the curtain right about here. Just before the intersection right here. Now what we could do is we could cut geometry. Select that curtain wall. Make sure negative 600. And then now we could go to our section view. And just like here, we put 500, I believe. So let's copy that. I know it's too much, but I should have just put 800. Or th sorry, uh, 300. So here, I'm just going to add that and then 700 right here. It's not working. So what we could do is select that 700 from the top. Select here, 500. And then here, we could just add a curtain grid. We could adjust this one to 300 and then this one to 300 as well. Now we have this big door and that's fine with me. It doesn't need to be exact. And then now we could just delete the ones in the bottom, select this panel and then change it to this door. Change orientation. I'm going to flip it on this side. It looks too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Click on tab. Change this to I'm going to change this part to what 500. Because it's too big. It looks too big. So at least it's fixed, got fixed with that. It's the same distance right here. And 
and then we could just flip it. I just want to double check what's the size here. So this one's supposed to be 800. So I'm going to flip it like that so that everything is in the same distance. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one. So later on, I'm going to delete this for now so that only this space can be changed to So here on this face, what I'm going to do is go to modify, click on paint, and then here I'm going to change this one to something wood. So I'm going to use oak flooring. If we change this to real, even realistic, you will see that it changed to that and I like the, the look of that. Let's go back to section one. The problem here is that if I click that, it will go follow through onto this wall. That's why I'm trying to move this one right here delete the room for now and then add the same one same wall basically right here so now they're completely two different i guess so i want this one to be removed So I want the separation from there. And also I don't want it at the top there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the paint. Because I want it only in the face. And maybe on the side as well. So I'm just making it ready for... once we have it into in motion. So here I'm going to select paint again, modify paint. I'm going to fix that part, but I want it to be from the inside as well. Obviously, I'm going to fix this one. I'm going to move it from the inside. So that's something that we could fix later on. Especially when we're clicking, because sometimes it's going to be hard. So we could do that later on. Then here we could just move this one back. Okay, so just like that. We just move it from the inside like that. So the purpose that I'm doing is to select the faces from the inside right here. So that's what I'm trying to do. Also, we need to select the stairs, edit, 
and we need to change the materials for the run here we need to choose something wood as well so for now i'm going to use oak flooring espresso So wood, glass, and metal combination is amazing, especially black. So I'm going to make this one black metal. And then if you see, that's a nice looking stairs. And then we're going to do this as well on the side. So let's go back here uh, before we finish what I'm planning to do is to change the floor so I'm gonna click on floor edit type duplicate this will be floor number one let's put all claps press ok and then ok so here what will happen is we could just the initial um, warehouse look so it's a warehouse and basically it's bare concrete um, I actually like the look of the bare concrete um, if you polish it and those kind of stuff if, if you if you put some uh, glossy materials um, it will look nice especially with wood uh, if you added some um, vegetation as well and then black uh, black ceiling it will look nice there's a lot of um, good looking uh, modern offices like an industrial so here I'm just going to edit I'm going to change the thickness to 200 for the floor and then here we're going to choose concrete let's use this one for now apply ok and then ok click on finish and then let's look at it obviously we're looking for a, a more bare concrete look but don't worry once we have have it into in motion it will look like that for the kitchen i want it to be white subway tiles all the way up so those are the plans that we're doing and then here we could just have we're going to change basically the doors by the way, if you notice, there's there's no handles on some of them. But if you change it to fine, this one will appear. But I believe this one is not. So this one is the one that is we're going to change later on. So like I said, it's just for a show. Um, I just want to show you guys where the orientation of the doors will go and then we're going to have this one like that so for now we're going to stop here so thank you for watching i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below